Today, we're delving into the world of personal finance. Specifically, we'll uncover 15 practical tips to help you live below your means and secure your financial future. So let's get started understanding living below your means. But before we delve into the tips, it's important to understand what living below your means really means. Contrary to what some might think, it's not about leading a deprived life. No, it's about making smart financial choices that allow you to spend less than you earn. This enables you to have a surplus that you can use to save, invest, and build your wealth over time. It's about financial freedom, security, and peace of mind. Tip one, create a budget. All right, let's dive into the tips. Tip number one is about creating a budget. It's crucial to have a clear understanding of your income and expenses. Knowing exactly how much money is coming in and where it's going allows you to be in control of your finances. It helps you make decisions about spending and savings and ensures you don't live beyond your means. Tip two, track your spending. Moving on to tip number two, track your spending. This goes hand in hand with creating a budget. By keeping a record of your purchases and expenses, you can understand your spending habits better. It might be surprising to see where your money is going, and this could be a wake-up call to cut back on unnecessary expenses. Tip three, eliminate high interest debt. Tip number three, make it a priority to eliminate high interest debt. Credit cards, payday loans, and other forms of high interest debt can eat away at your income faster than you might realize. By clearing this debt, you're freeing up more of your money to be used in ways that can enrich your life instead of feeding into a cycle of debt. Tip four, automate savings. Tip number four, automate your savings. This is a simple yet highly effective strategy. By setting up automatic transfers from your checking to your savings account, you're ensuring that a portion of your income goes directly into savings. It's a case of out of sight, out of mind reducing the temptation to spend this money. Tip five, cook your own meals. Now on to tip number five, which is quite delicious. Cook your own meals. Eating out, while convenient and enjoyable, can quickly burn a hole in your pocket. Preparing meals at home not only saves you money, but also allows you to control what goes into your food, leading to healthier eating habit. Tip six, limit your luxuries. Before we dive into the topic at hand, I have a small request to make. If you're enjoying this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could show your support by subscribing to the channel. This way, you'll be the first to know about future content and updates, and it will also help us reach a wider audience. Thank you for your consideration. Tip number six, limit your luxuries. Now, this isn't about denying yourself of all the good things life has to offer. It's about balance. Limiting luxury spending ensures you don't live beyond your means, and it makes those occasional treats even more special. Tip seven, buy secondhand. Tip number seven, embrace the world of secondhand shopping. Whether it's a car, a piece of furniture, or even clothes, often you can find high quality gently used items at a fraction of their original price. It's better for your wallet and the environment. Tip eight, utilize free entertainment. Moving on to tip number eight, utilize free entertainment. Explore your local parks, take advantage of free community events, visit your local library, or host a movie or game night with friends at home. There are countless ways to enjoy life without spending a fortune. Tip nine, practice preventive maintenance. Tip number nine, regular maintenance. This might seem boring, but looking after your belongings from your home to your car to your personal items can prevent bigger, costlier problems down the line. It's much cheaper to maintain than to replace. Tip 10, live smaller. Tip number 10 is all about embracing a smaller lifestyle. A smaller home or a less expensive car can drastically cut your monthly expenses. Plus, it's often easier and less time consuming to maintain smaller properties and vehicles. Tip 11, cut unnecessary subscriptions and memberships. Tip 11 is a modern one. Review your subscriptions and memberships. 
With the rise of digital services, it's easy to accumulate monthly payments that we don't fully utilize. Cut out the unnecessary ones and see how much you can save. Tip 12, embrace DAI. Tip number 12, embrace the world of DI. From home repairs to gift making, doing it yourself can be both fun and rewarding, and it can save you a significant amount of money. Tip 13, use cash for discretionary spending. Tip number 13, consider using cash for discretionary spending. Physical money gives you a more tangible sense of your spending, unlike credit or debit cards. It can help you control impulse purchases and think more about each transaction you make. Tip 14, continually educate yourself on personal finance. Tip 14 is all about lifelong learning. Educate yourself on personal finance. There are numerous resources available both online and offline to increase your knowledge on money management, investing, and financial planning. The more you know, the better your financial decisions will be. Tip 15, stay patient and committed. Finally, tip number 15, stay patient and committed. Changing financial habits and implementing new strategies take time. It's a journey, not a sprint. Stay committed. Keep your eyes on the long-term goal and be patient with yourself. In conclusion, living below your means is an approach that helps build a secure and worry-free financial future. It requires awareness, discipline, and occasionally making tough choices, but the benefits are truly worthwhile. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Remember, the journey to financial freedom starts with a single step. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, keep saving and investing wisely.